So inheriting a property could be an absolute blessing. It does not have to be such a pain in the butt with the right help. In this episode, I'm gonna be answering the question, can I sell my half of an inherited property? <laughs> All right, so selling your half of an inherited property might not be as easy as you think, but I'm gonna break down several points and show you multiple ways to get it done. And by the end of this video, it'll be way easier. So inheriting a property with a sibling or a partner can be some tough waters to navigate. The first thing I recommend is actually scheduling a meeting whether at the property or over Zoom or FaceTime or even over the phone and just seeing what everybody's thoughts are and what everyone's opinions are on the property because ultimately you wanna sell your half and that should be easily doable. Maybe the siblings will buy it. Maybe the other people you inherit it will buy your half. So there's multiple ways to do this and then I think the best way is just actually communicating with each other on how to do it. So the quick answer is absolutely yes, you can sell your half of the inherited property but it's gonna take a little finesse and maybe some legal work to get it done. So once you've discussed it with the person that is a partner with you or the sibling that inherited the other half, once you figure out the actual plan of action, now it's time to put it into place. So let's just say you want to sell your half. Maybe the sibling will buy it or maybe you have a buyer that will buy your half. So you want to kind of figure out what is going to happen next. Maybe the sibling wants or the person that owns the other half wants to own 100% and they'll buy your half. So it should be pretty easy to go to a bank and say, look, I already own half the property. I want to actually take out a loan and pay off my partner on the other side of the property and we'll do a complete title closing and I'll be 100% owner on the title and the deed. So that's one way. Let's just say that you're the other person that owns the other half, the other 50% of the property, does not have the money to buy it or doesn't want to buy it and you go and find a buyer. That buyer needs to understand they are not gonna have 100% of that property. Now, if it's a rental or a cash producing property or a property that's worth a lot of money, that other buyer might not be concerned with that, but as long as they understand that that's happening. Now, I talked about the part that's gonna take a little legal finesse. You are gonna to wanna to have an attorney probably draft up that contract just saying that they're buying your portion and then some type of operating agreement between your buyer and the sibling or your partner that owns the other half of your inherited property. Operating agreement basically just states who's gonna do what. Who's gonna pay the bills? Who's gonna keep the lawn up? Who's gonna be responsible for the roof repairs? We call them capital expenditures, like things like that. You wanna have an operating agreement in place for that sort of thing, and that's something that an attorney can take care of for you. The next thing is the actual transfer of title and closing, the transfer of your half of the inherited property that you own to your buyer or to your brother or sister or your sibling that owns it. That's gonna be a transfer of title, a transfer of deed, and it's great to have a real estate attorney take care of that. They do the title search and they do the title transfer. If you can get a title insurance company to do a title insurance policy, that's even better because if there's anything missed, liens, encumbrances, or any mistakes, the title insurance policy will ultimately hopefully pay for that. So I got a story, I've never actually sold my half of an inherited property, but I actually bought into half of a property. There was an older gentleman and he's now actually passed away. We've sold the property, but uh, he was losing the property to foreclosure. He had three tenants in it that were basically running the property down. And if he would have sold the property, he would have had to have sold the property for way more than what he could have gotten because he had taken basically interest depreciation and cost segregation for many, many years on this property, AKA he was using the property as a tax write-off. So if he would have sold it, he would have had to pay something called recapture to the IRS. So ultimately he would have lost money selling that property. So I came to him and said, look, I would like to buy half of the property because you can't sell it and I would like to put this much into buying half the property. My amount was $85,000, and that was to completely renovate that property. So he had a mortgage of 116, I brought 85,000, and once I brought that 85,000, and we got three new renters, the, the property was completely renovated, and this was back several years ago, it made that property worth about 300,000. So all in, we owed 116 on the mortgage, plus 85,000 was my buy-in. So we had about $100,000 in equity 
plus three grand a month gross income and our mortgage was about 1500 a month. So we were splitting 1500 a month each way. So that's where I bought into half of the property. I was half owner and basically we had an attorney set all this up. We actually opened an LLC and we transferred the property into that LLC and that LLC had an operating agreement showing me and Norm as 50-50 owners and what we were both responsible for. So that's kind of the reverse opposite of what will happen when you sell your half of an inherited property. Hey guys, hopefully you're enjoying this video. Hopefully it's showing you exactly what to do when you inherit a piece of property. Definitely smash that subscribe button. I come out with these videos five days a week. Let's keep going. All right, so as you're hearing, the key to winning and getting this uh, property sold, your half of the inherited property, is a lot of communication. Attorneys can help, banks can help. I just want you to know that you are never stuck. I actually have a nationwide house buying company and if you go to Zek Buys Houses, Dot com. You can fill out the property information on there. We might even be interested in buying your portion of that property. It's gonna, again, take a lot of communication, but we've got experience with this. Fill out the form, maybe we might even buy that property. Head on over to zekbiashouses.com and we'd love to help you.